serious student of Reddit who had a sexual relationship with a teacher, how did it start, and how did it turn out? Downloaded Tinder and he was my first match. Technically, he was studying to become a teacher and working at the school while doing that, but was seen as a member of the staff. I was 5 months away from completing high school at this point, and already 18, he was 23, and while we had an emotional relationship, he refused to do anything sexual or physical, until after I'd graduated. 5 months of platonic foreplay, that could be real fun. Did anything happen after you graduated, assuming you've graduated? Oh yeah, sorry about not mentioning that, we went on to date for a year, before we both relocated to different cities and didn't want to do long distance. Pretty anti-climatic, but I'll always appreciate how gentlemanly he was about the whole thing. I guess I technically had a sexual relationship with a teacher. She was a lab tar for my invertebrate zoology lab, and refused to do anything with me, until after the class. After classes, we partied and hooked up quite a lot. After a year of us still being together, other tars started dating undergrads. Seven years later, we are married and have a kid together. Obviously it worked out for you, but looking back would you recommend it? I'm a tar, M, and matched with one of my old students, F, on a dating app a few months after I taught her. I told her I couldn't, because she had been my student, but I looked at the school policies and couldn't find anything. I've been thinking of reaching out to her again. But I'm not sure. I would highly recommend you start away until you're no longer in control of their grades. There's a significant chance of being accused of favoritism otherwise. If you're not an actual teacher, there's nothing stopping you. When we matched I wasn't in control of any grades. It was a few months after the course was over. It has now been another two months or so. I fell in love with the workshop supervisor at my university that guides the workshop that I need for my education. She is about a year older than I am. I'm doing some small arts and crafts and lethal working. She was interested in getting something, and she bought something custom. I can't remember how it started out, but for some reason or another, we had some drinks which ended in a night spent together, and a sexual relationship. We discovered an attraction to each other. She went to the faculty director with the situation and explained it. Since she cannot give marks on my work, and is only a guide in the eyes of the university they approved of the relationship. That was about 3 years ago. We are still together as I'm finishing my education. The relationship moved on from the sexual flirt which it all started with to something deep. We live together for 2 years now, and she helps me something with running the two companies that I set up aside my study. When I finish my education next year I will even propose to her. I like the part where she went clean to the faculty director, even though she knew she cold gotten into some SRS trouble. Glad it worked out man. All the best. It is because she went straight to the director without going. Secret she gotten no trouble. It is not that uncommon for relations to happen at uni level. There is a new influx of young master employees that age at 26 to 30 in some student study. After doing a collegish level, our school system doesn't translate to English, who then are often between 23 minus 26, so the age differences are a whole lot less. The university just needs to know if it causes conflict, and if any of the two in a relationship are manipulatable. It started innocently enough. She was my chorus teacher fresh out of college and only 6 years older than me. My brother waa actually dating her friend from high school. I used to cut class and say I had a music lesson and we'd just hang in the music room, talk about books, music, movies. Then she started complaining about her relationship a lot, needing hugs, which I was more than happy to help with. It eventually turned to making out, and we finally started hooking up when she gave me rides home after school. I honestly felt like Elle found a million dollars, but Cole didn't tell anybody about it. It was weird. Then she got weird, asking for her hugs in front of the entire class. I knew everyone knew. I started riding home with my friends again. Then she started just showing up at my house. Had a very awkward convo with my dad who knew exactly what was going on, but was so impressed he just kept saying damn she's pretty. Ghosting hadn't been invented back then, but Elle did the best Elle could. Eventually she chilled out. A few months later Elle stopped by her room during our normal hang time, and she apologized. 
told me she was just going through a lot with her crappy boyfriend and needed some attention from someone that actually liked her. We didn't talk much after that. L graduated soon after, but we are friends on Facebook, and she actually married a decent guy and has a nice family. I'm very relieved we were never found out. It would have been devastating to both of us. Your dad knew but didn't care. Fresh out of college, probably 22 years old, and he was like 16 to 17. He probably didn't see it was much of an age difference. Right. That's not even illegal in most places. The laws that supersede AOC when the relationship is between a teacher and student are pretty recent. Probably the only thing at risk here was her job and even then maybe not. I went to a vocational high school and attended the culinary program for 3 years. The baking instructor slash pastry chef was 7 years older than me and we grew up in the same small town. When I turned 18 and he left for another profession, we went on a few dates and had intercourse a couple times. We weren't a good fit together and ended on amicable terms. Pretty uneventful. When I was 19 I dated a professor at my university for a few months. I wasn't his student, but he taught some of my friends. We met randomly at a club, and I had no idea he was a professor at my uni until a few days later, when we started texting. He was really hot, he had dark hair and bright blue eyes, and told me that his female students would flirt with him in office hours. He was 33, so very young for a prof, but pretty old for me at the time. It was fun for a bit. He was not happy when we realized he taught some of my friends. The day we realized he taught my friends was when I was at his apartment a couple weeks after meeting, and I asked to see some of his class materials. He thought it would be interesting if I could tell the difference between a BS essay and a great essay, even if I wasn't familiar with the subject. So I started reading and realized the BS essay with a failing grade had my friend's name at the top. He was very upset because apparently it's some sort of privacy violation that I was looking at her failed assignment. But I thought it was sexy that he thought my friend's essay sucked, really played up his position of power in my mind. I like how he waltzes into ethical landmines. Yeah, that's a really weird place to go to show a student you're dating the failing essays written in your class. That's like exactly why schools have policies about this sort of thing. So I actually didn't know she was my teacher. She was maybe 23 to 24, and I just turned 17. I was in California during summer vacation. Went to Disneyland, California adventure, all the fun stuff. Met her while in line for Winnie the Pooh ride, none of my friends wanted to go with me, we had fun, hit it off, and eventually go to her hotel room. Spent the weekend meeting up and hanging out, and then we parted ways. First day of the new semester comes around, and I see her in the classroom and I'm excited I didn't know she went to this school, and so I went in, and sat down, and she goes up to the front of the room, and introduced herself to everyone then we do the whole, get to know each other thing and what we did over summer, got to me her face turned purple like she cold and breathe. Did you bang her, while she was your teacher? How did she treat you? After the initial shock and the first day I stayed, after for a few minutes, we cleared the air, laughed and then the rest of the school year was fine. Had relations a couple times, after I graduated but nothing, while she was actually my teacher, responsible of both of y'all, which is impressive for that 17 to 25 age group, good job. Had a crush on one of my grad school teachers for a year and a half, I was into everything about her looks, brain, everything. I ended up teaching the same subject many years later, and I still use the notes and materials from her classes with my own students. She was engaged to someone else, so I never even thought about anything ever happening. It was a nice fantasy, then out of the blue, she calls my cell phone, and tells me that she's thinking of getting into yoga, and knows that I'm into yoga, so would I get a drink with her, and tell her more. I was not exactly experienced with hookups and I actually took her at her word. I went expecting to talk about yoga and go home afterwards. We ended up getting totally wasted, making out in the middle of a bar, and then I walked her home where I kept saying I'm sorry and this definitely isn't happening, and I'll just get you to your door and go home. It did happen, but the joke was on her. She got a few seconds of the worst intercourse of her life, and then got to listen to me in the bathroom for a while. 
The next day she found me in the hallway and told me that it was a huge mistake and asked me not to tell anyone. Nobody would believe me anyway so I agreed. I can honestly say I wish the entire thing had never happened. She got married and moved on with her life. I ended up having to take her husband's class before I could graduate. She got a few seconds of the worst relations of her life and then got to listen to me in the bathroom for a while. Frick that stings. Do you think if a teacher puts her hand on your leg that she's into you? I'm a college student and I work in the music lab at my school. Last semester, one of the professors who I had as a teacher for a few classes came to tell me Merry Christmas and she put her hand on my upper thigh. It was a weird interaction and I was very confused by it. I slept with one of my professors in college. At the time I was 19 or 20 and she was in her mid 30s. I went to see her during her office hours. We talked for a few minutes and when I went to leave she gave me a long hug and told me you give really nice hugs as she held onto my arms. I asked for her number and went on my way. We exchanged a few flirty text message over the next few days before she invited me over to her apartment to help her hook up a new TV she had bought. We ended up sleeping together about 10 times before she moved away to take a new job at a different school. You give nice hugs hey can I have your number? Nice. Hankering for some Gwent. I'm not a student anymore point it happened in the 90s when I was probably 8 or 9 euro m and went on for more than a year. It started with making me sit on his thighs often and I could feel his erection. I never knew what to think of it as I never got any training or attention from parents about situations of sexual abuse. It went on from there. After 22 years of being a biologically straight guy I still remember what that dirty stinking dick tasted like. The experience gave me depression and anxiety and inability to trust a relationship and get freaked out when I see a kid sitting on any man's lap. I woke up after a night full of bad dreams feeling sick in my stomach. Forgive me if I don't respond any further. And thanks immensely for your kind words and incredible support. It's important to protect and keep every child away from such negative forces cause we remember.